How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So today is kind of going to be like a project day. We're going to be working in the shop and putting together a jewelry rack. Emily wants a jewelry rack. So it's going to be two deer antlers. It's actually a matching set that we found over on her property. And it's actually one of the bucks that we were getting on trail camera. If I can find the picture, I'll insert it. But Besides the point of that, we're gonna put those two deer antlers together. That's what's gonna hold up the jewelry. And then it's gonna be sitting on a piece of barn board. So we gotta cut the barn board and then we gotta get these antlers all colored up so they look good. They've been sitting out for probably a year or so now. But we gotta get the antlers colored up. That's what I actually did this morning. I took coffee grounds and just kind of rubbed it on there. It's a good way to make the antlers look like they're still kind of fresh, like new antlers. So what you do is you just get used coffee grounds rub them all over the antlers and just let them sit there until they dry and it just brings that brown look back into the antler so i went ahead and did that this morning but now we're in the shop and it's starting to rain just a little bit so hopefully it doesn't come down too hard because this metal roof makes it extremely loud if there's big raindrops but we're going to get this piece of barn board let me see if i can find it here we go this is the barn board that we're going to be putting it on. It's a pretty thin little piece of barn board, but this is what we're going to be putting the antlers on. I need to cut it to length and then pretty much we're going to measure it, just cut it and then get those antlers out once all that coffee ground is dry. Mount it up. I need to drill holes through this, drill holes up into the antler with a small drill bit and then we're going to mount those antlers onto this and it should be done. It shouldn't be too hard of a project. I think I can tackle it. So hopefully we can get it done today. It really just depends on how fast those coffee grounds dry and then we'll get this cut to length right now and get on with the project. The rain's starting to pick up so hopefully the audio doesn't turn out too bad. We're going to go with it. I don't have a straight edge so we're kind of just going to go for it and do some measurements and then we got the old trusty dusty where did i put that little trusty dusty handsaw we're going old fashioned today here it is <laughs> we're gonna use this i'm gonna make some measurements right now and just go for it i'm gonna cut that off and then i'm probably gonna do it to about i'm gonna give it a little bit more extra just so we have some room to play with just in case something does go bad Eyeball it, make it look as straight as you can. Run that down. Looks good. Oh yeah. That is a pretty dang straight line right there. I'm proud of that. Okay, so now we're gonna flip this over. We're gonna get to cutting it right there. That looks good. That looks pretty good to me. I'm happy with that. All right, so that is gonna be our foundation and then we're gonna go get the antlers. One's gonna go there, one's gonna go there. That's gonna be the backdrop. That looks really good. I like that. I'm glad I didn't have to stain anything. Just use the rustic barn wood. Turned out great. So now we're pretty much just waiting for the antlers to be done. Once it starts getting that brown color and all the coffee grounds start to dry, that's when it's done. But we have the board sawed up, that's ready to go. So it's just a waiting game. I'm probably gonna wait probably 24 hours until that stuff dries just to let it soak in there as much as I can. Because those antlers were pretty bleached white, they had been sitting out for probably a year or so. So I'm gonna let that sit on as long as I can until it dries. And then we're gonna start drilling holes in the base of those antlers. And then I'm gonna start running holes through the back of that board just so I don't crack that barn board trying to drill straight through. So we're gonna do pre-drilled holes and then run screws through the back of it up into the antlers. And then they should be sticking out nice and pretty, but we just gotta wait for that. But check this out in the meantime. So I went and picked up this nice little electric smoker so we can cook some wild game, actually smoke some wild game. So this is endless possibilities on what we can smoke in this. I can just set the timer, set the temperature, Basically just sit back, relax, and do whatever. It's got four different racks all through there. You're just gonna put your wood chips right down in the bottom of that. You soak them in water for a while, and then you just leave it. You wait for your stuff to be done, and then you chow down. So I'm super excited and very pumped to be able to use this and cook some wild game in this. It's gonna be a game changer because I've never had a smoker before. So to have some smoked wild game, some smoked wild meat, maybe even smoked trout, like all sorts of different stuff I can put in here, 
It's gonna be a game changer. We also got a bunch of different wood chips when I bought that smoker. So I got Jack Daniels wood chips, a bunch of mesquite wood wood chips. I mean, I got four bags of wood chips. So I don't know what we're gonna smoke first. Leave it down in the comments what I should go after and smoke. Maybe a squirrel, maybe some frogs. You guys just think, put it down in the comments and we will do it. And it has been 24 hours since we first put that little coffee ground mixture onto these deer antlers. So I'm gonna go ahead and rub this off and then we're gonna get started and try to figure out how to mount these antlers onto this barn wood. So like I was saying, when I put that mixture on, all it is is used coffee grounds. That's what it's gonna look like. You're just gonna wait until all your coffee grounds are dry to where it's like, just like that, just flaking off. And pretty much you have that brown, newish deer antler look. It's an easy way and it's a cheap way if you already drink coffee instead of just throwing it away you can rub it on your deer antlers that are kind of bleached white and it brings back that brown look pretty much just like that you have your deer antler and it just brings back that brown back into it just kind of looks a little bit more new just like this previous year's shed that's basically all you're doing and makes your deer antlers smell like coffee so if you want your antlers brown and you want them to smell good just like coffee, then do it this way. Probably should have worn gloves. Now my hands are gonna be brown, but it'll be all right. And there, it's number two done. This one turned out pretty cool too. Just a little bit more of a brown look. Just bringing back that natural color instead of just a bleached white. We got both of our antlers, and now I gotta figure out how to mount these to this piece of barn wood right there. Well, like most things that I do, I am just gonna wing this. I've been looking at pictures on how to do this, and it looks like what people are doing, they're cutting the base of the antler off. So they're cutting this piece off right around in there so it sets flush instead of just having that uh, piece sticking out right there so it's not completely flush with the wood. So I'm probably gonna saw it off at somewhat of an angle right in there, just right in front of the brow tine, just so it can stay like that on the board. Cause pretty much it's gonna stick out just like this. See, it's sticking way too far out when it goes like that onto the board. But those tines are gonna be what's holding up the jewelry. We're just gonna go for it. That's what I do with a lot of stuff. Just try it, trial and error. It'll always be your best friend until you screw something up so bad you can't fix it. <laughs> All right, I need a better saw. All right, that one's not working either. Going to find something else. So I went ahead and got a power saw and just hacked that end right off. It worked a lot faster. I went and got my tree trimmer that I use when I'm hunting. Tried using this, didn't work. I got impatient, so pretty much, as you can see, I just sawed it right off at the end. And now, it actually looks perfect. So it's gonna be on this side right here. And that's how it's gonna be. Let's see if you guys can see that. Let's get a close up. It's gonna be just like that. So it turned out perfect. So now we're gonna get the other one sawed off. And after that, we're gonna cut a hole right through here. We're gonna get measurements. We're actually gonna do this part legit, but we're gonna get measurements. And then I'm gonna drill right up into there with a small drill bit, just so the screw goes in and doesn't like crack the antler or do something crazy. But yeah, turned out sweet. So now we can go ahead and get that one sawed. And then we'll come over here and start working on the drilling and then get these things mounted up. We're doing some dad projects out here. Don't ask me how I got it perfect on the first try because honestly, I have no idea. Oh my gosh. Both of the main beams are touching. The cuts look perfect. It's sitting flush on the barn board. How did I get that perfect the first try? I'm not gonna complain. All right, so the next step, we need to drill up with a small drill bit just right up into here so the screw has something to go in and hold on to. And then we're gonna drill little holes, I guess into the backs of this, so we know exactly where we need it to be. Cause I want this pretty lined up and precise. So I got these screws right here. It's just some leftover screws that I found down in the basement. And it should be thick enough to go in and hold up into that antler. We don't need anything crazy long going through there cause I don't want it poking out the other side. But as long as it has a little bit of grip going right through there into the antler, we should be set. There we go. Sit on my new bow target, courtesy of Paddle Yaks Kayaks. All right, we're gonna run this drill bit ups in, ups in, up into the backs of these. So it just has a little pilot hole for these screws to go in. Probably turn it on the right way. 
And that is what we're looking for right there. Just a little pilot hole so that screw has something to grab into when it's going through that board. Go right into there, just like that. I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah, I really don't know what I'm doing. How was I even gonna mark that? I'm just putting my finger down where I thought it was. All right, we need to drill a hole there and there. All right, simple as that. Now let's drill right through this barn board so we have a pilot hole, because this barn board is pretty freaking old. And I don't want to risk cracking it or anything like that, so we're gonna do some pilot holes through this. That looks pretty level to me. We'll use my legs as the workbench. So here's the first hole. All right, there's one hole. Now we're gonna do the other one. Perfect. So now I'm just gonna line the hole that we drilled on the antler. Right up to that. I'm gonna flip it back. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to hold it with my knees. Turn it around so you guys can see this. Holding that in one hand. That is sick. Look at that. I did that. All right, so now we need to do the same exact thing with the other one. I'm gonna drill this right down into my leg. And exactly like we did on this last one, we're just gonna line up the antler and the hole that we drilled right up to that. Get it flush. Oh my gosh, this is gonna look sick. I'm doing this. This looks like, this seriously looks like something you'd buy at Bass Pro. It's pretty good to me. <laughs> I did this! Look at this. Oh my gosh. We got the old barn board, both the deer antlers, matching set. I sawed them off down at the bottom. They're sitting flush, as you can see. Perfect. Dude, I'm so proud of myself. Just check that out. That is sweet. I'm very proud of myself. I don't think I've ever done anything that looks like something in Bass Pro. That looks like something in Bass Pro. I just fully went for it, didn't do any measurements, and everything looks perfect. I mean, look at this. The screws in the back, I mean, that one's pretty flush down in there. This one kind of got stripped because it was an old screw, so all I gotta do is pull these back out, replace those, because we already drilled pilot holes through that and up into the antlers, but I mean, they hold. That's the good thing. And these things will definitely hold jewelry on them because that's what they're gonna be used for. It's not gonna be anything heavy, just necklaces and stuff, and just for decoration. But that honestly looks like something that you get out of Bass Pro Shops. I'm beyond proud of this thing. So if you guys wanna do something like this, just kinda of follow along with the video. There's no real measurements or anything, so I don't know how you guys are really gonna figure that kind of stuff out. But if you wanna just go for it, and you want somewhat of a reference of how to do it, I guess this is a video that you can watch. I just went for it and it turned out amazing. So if you guys wanna try this and just go for it, just give it a shot. So if you guys wanna see more videos like this, outdoorsy projects, stuff that looks like it would come out of Bass Pro, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that little notification bell as well so you'll be notified when I post. I post on Wednesdays and Sundays at 7 p.m., so two videos a week. Stay tuned for those. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.